Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. It's Daily News time. It's uh, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Excellent. Um, we've got a few things to get through. One piece of absolute nailed on. Solid transfer news, which we'll come to at the end, because obviously, stay tuned. Um, we'll get to that in due course. Chris, first and foremost, uh, John Matter picked up an injury at the weekend. Yeah. There was a concern that it might be, it could be ligament damage or whatever, which, given our centre-back situation, would have been a pretty devastating thing. It looks like, by all accounts, he's absolutely fine. He's going to go on the US tour. Major relief. Oh, yeah, huge. I mean, you know, Matip has quietly gone about his business this pre-season. I think the last couple of games, he's definitely taken a step up from the first couple of games. Um, I've been quietly impressed with him. Everything that he's had to do, he's dealt with. The worry was that he was re-aggravating an old foot injury, wasn't it? Um, I, th I know that he about six weeks ago, I think, or at the end of last season... Um, he had some metal rods taken out of his foot from when he fractured or broke it two years prior, wasn't it? And he was obviously feeling some pain and discomfort around that. The worry was that he re-aggravated because it's the, it, 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 this would have been the third time that he's re-aggravated that that injury. Uh, thankfully, the scans have come back now and said that no, it's no problem. It's just a little pain, a little bit of bruising, nothing that he'll need surgery for and stuff like that. So I think that's a really uh, it's a huge thing for us. It doesn't stop the fact that we're still going to need centre-back cover because, look, we're obviously we'll come on to it later in the show, I'm sure, about the Ragnar stuff, best name ever, by the way. Mm. Uh, but one of the things that I think people are forgetting is that Matip is going to, probably going to the African Cup of Nations in January, so we're going to need strength and depth in that position yeah. anyway because it would literally just leave us with two. And we don't know what Gomez is going to be coming back like after such a long time out and then re-aggravating an injury. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think it's, it's like anything, you can... You can get some. You can build positivity through preseason, but ultimately, if your new signings get injured in preseason and can't start the season, then you're starting the season how you ended the last one. I don't, it doesn't mean I don't think we'd be in a bad position per se because of that. You know, we're not starting Basel, are we? Exactly. Yeah. I don't because, want to do that again, no, Paul. Because, no, but you know, but the point is, is that is you know, you end up with exactly the same squad, and. We might choose to do that. We might choose to start a very similar eleven that we ended the season with, but that's by choice. When it's enforced, it does just take a little, you know, takes a little bit of the edge of you, you deflate you a little bit because you're thinking we've got these new guys. What are they going to do? What are they going to bring? Oh, it's the same team that we had last year. Whoop de fucking do. Um, so no, we, we, you know, obviously still a few games left to play in preseason. So fingers crossed on all that. But that's that's good because someone like him, like centre back, big lad as well. We've talked about this about guys developing a partnership. I'd like him and Lovren to play every single game in preseason as much football as possible. So when they get to this new season, it, it, there's a fluency in the partnership. Of course, it's massively important with centre backs. We've been banging this drum for years now, haven't we? Mm. So one of the big things I want to discuss, and I don't, I don't know how solid a piece of news this is because it's from the Daily Mail, which you know, it, it's not about immigration. So um, you know, who knows? Who knows what the driving force is behind this? Um, they, what they're saying is obviously you talked about the Jorginho Wijnaldum deal yesterday. Still looks like it's on by all accounts. Good video, wasn't it? It was excellent. <laughs> was, it ex <laughs> was it excellent? Let me know in the comments below, and I will go from there. Um, they they're talking twenty five million pounds, but there's now talk, according to the to the mail, that. Uh, we could offer the likes of. It smells like bullshit. It smells like bullshit. It smells like bullshit. We could offer Lucas Lever and John Flanagan um, to reduce the fee. Now, I think the Flanagan part of that is complete bullshit because I think there was the echo was saying last week or the start of this week saying how Flanagan is very much part of Klopp's plans for this season. The Lucas thing. And maybe that's just the two and two together. I think we know Benitez tried to sign him when he was at Napoli. He's the guy who brought him over to England in the first place. He will. He does love Lucas Leiva. Really loves him. I don't think that's outside the realms of possibility. That could. That could still happen. I, look, it could. It could, of course. I think the Benitez thing might be a draw for Lucas Lever. You know, he's obviously well liked by Benitez. I'm sure Lucas feels the same way of, of Rafa Benitez because of the opportunities that he was afforded when he was Liverpool manager. But. I, I don't see Lucas going anywhere that's not a top division in their country, to be perfectly honest yeah. with you. And I think Lucas, after his career and, and the performances that he put in last season alone, says that he should be playing in the top tier of whatever league he's playing in, yeah. whatever country he's playing in. Sorry. So, 
I, I wouldn't be massively surprised, but I would still be a little bit surprised if he did take the drop down to Championship. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe Rafa could sell him on the idea of being part of something for the next few years and Newcastle could bounce straight back up, but it's not going to be easy. It's a tough division to get out of. Well, it's interesting because I, I, I wonder whether... I, I, someone like Newcastle is an interesting example because it's not like he's going to you know, a mid-table Championship team. I wouldn't expect him to go to a, 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 championship, a championship team under general uh, general situation, but it's the Benitez thing. It's the fact that he's a top class manager. He should Rafa shouldn't be in charge of a championship side. So that kind I think that kind of does skew things to some extent. And he's clearly building a, an effective team to get himself out of the out of the division. Look at the players he's brought in. Very canny moves. Lucas could actually I think Lucas could go in, be a defensive midfielder in the championship, and have an absolute whale of a time. I think he you know he would be one of the better players in the in the entire division if he was to do that. And then you're looking at you got you come up, comes back up to the Premier League after one season or whatever. I, I you know I, 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 for me he's probably going to move, and then you look at it again where he's going to get. I don't know where who would have him that would take him on decent wages that would get him a good level of football. There probably would be some takers, maybe Italy. I don't. Well, the the rumours are it's still Turkey, isn't it? Mm. I think that's where play Liverpool players go to die basically. That's where. People go to die at the moment, sister. Jesus Christ! Yeah, so, so, I, so probably, actually, let probably me no. Let me tell you this story. We were on the we were on the train back from uh, London a couple of days ago, and um, some guy hears me and, and one of the lads talking about football and stuff, and he goes, "Are you Liverpool fans?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "He's a Turkish guy," and he's like, "Can I ask you about Martin Scale?" He, he's done, mate. <laughs> he's just give. He's done. Oh, and he's like, "Oh." I was hoping you wouldn't say that. I was like, but it's okay. You beat Besiktas 8-0, so I still like Liverpool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we did. I was there. Ben Ayun scored a hat-trick that day. Amazing. Brilliant. He's gonna, I think Skittles going to absolutely... He's going he's gonna to love it there, isn't he? But, um, yeah, you know, I think that's it. I think, if you look at it, it yeah, you might go to... You could go to a Fenerbahce or, or whatever. Go to a Galatasaray he's been linked with. Yeah, three million Galatasaray. Probably play, you know, play some European football on that. Or, you know... Stay because he said he actually said he wants to stay in England, hasn't he? You know that's he doesn't. He's happy. His family's family settled. It's, it's not, not an easy commute, that though, Lucas. Trust me. Been there, been there. Don't recommend it as a commute. If but, it's raining, know, no, no, no chance. Don't recommend it's it as a either. commute. But nevertheless, but it's just one. Let's know your thoughts on that. In fact, is there anyone else within the Liverpool squad who you think you would put up as a um, a potential swap deal if you wanted to knock money off uh, any genie wine album um, transfer deal? Why don't we do a straight swap for lads? Huh? He's too good to play in the championship. Lads are. Mm. Much too good. Um, That's interesting. Perlo. says Balotelli can still be a top player, uh, but he needs to stay away from China. Listen to me, Andrea. Mr. Perlo. Gobshite. Shut your fucking face now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look, I like New York City FC. You've had a great season. David V is the real star out there, Perlo lad. So you just need to wind your neck in, stop talking Italian into Mario Balotelli's ear and just tell him to fuck off to China for me because you're doing my head in. And if he doesn't go to China, you'll have me to fucking deal with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, don't, I, feel, I feel that Perlo hasn't factored in the fact that we want some money for Mario Balotelli. Into his, oh, Balotelli can turn his career around. He's basically saying that he needs to go. If he goes and, and turns his career around at his next club, choose it wisely. You know, in three years' time, if he be builds his career up, he'll only be twenty-eight, and he can go and move back to a top, top club again. Everyone, God loves an optimist, and everyone loves a trier. Perlo's the optimist. Mario Balotelli isn't a trier, so we'll see how we get on with that. Um, oh crap, medical. Uh, Ragnar Klavan's having his medical today, Chris. Yeah, um, good. We need centre-back cover. By all accounts, everything that I've read on him, look, I don't really remember his performances for Augsburg. No. Um, so don't I know that you. we struggled to break them down when we drew 0-0 with them and he was playing. He played in both games, didn't he? Um, so, uh, look, it's one of them. We need centre-back cover. Klopp says he's good enough. He's a player that Klopp knows. He's six foot one. He's 30 years old. He's left-footed. He's a centre-back. He's massively experienced. Mm, uh, and we're not it. wasting a lot of money on it. Yeah, okay, exactly that. He looks to me like he's got he's got potential cult hero written all over him. No one's going to be doing cartwheels when he signs. But you're right, we need a, see, a senior centre-half big time in that squad to make sure that we've got sufficient depth because we don't want any more like 
he's gone, but no more Jose Enrique covering at centre back kind of situations this season. So now I'm and happy for us. Look, he's another area that we're struggling with at the moment with the Chilwell stuff not really moving it on anymore is left back, and he's played left back as well. Uh, and you know, in his youth, he was an advanced playmaker. So Off if we up. if we need anyone to you know take that in the end of Dan role, if any other, we get uh, some injuries. And Ragnar might be our man. Mm, maybe. There you go. There's any thoughts on anything we've discussed in the comments below. We'll be doing a Liverpool Transfer News Roundup special, as we do every single week throughout the summer. 45 minutes to an hour, talking about all Liverpool Transfer News, ins, outs, rooms, etc., etc. TheRedmenTV.com. Go and check it out. It's completely free for the month.